Hello, my name is Tom Jensen. I'm going to show you how to process arteries with metallic stents. You will need to isolate your work area. Cutting through arteries with a Dremel can be messy, so an enclosed area is essential. I'm using a variable speed rotary tool, also known as a Dremel. This tool can be purchased at just about any hardware store. I will be cutting a stent with a plus two cutoff wheel disc. I will be showing you two methods for holding stents while cutting. One is with a small vise and the other is with a needle nose pliers. I will be embedding the stent arteries in a straw with OCT embedding medium. This will give a nice support for cutting through the stent. I am processing two stents today. The longer one is from the left anterior descending coronary artery and the other is from the left circumflex coronary artery. The straws I am using are Bobo T straws. These straws are big enough to fit over an artery. Cut the straws a little longer than the arteries so that the OCT will completely cover the arteries when embedding them. Next I use an oil-based clay to seal off one end of the straws. This will allow the tubes to hold OCT embedding medium. I fill the straws completely with OCT and the OCT may flow over. The goal here is to have no air bubbles in the straws. Air bubbles create cavities and that makes it more difficult to hold the artery when cutting. Top off the tubes so that stents are completely covered with OCT. Place them in a minus 80 Celsius freezer. The interior of a cryostat can be used if you don't have access to a minus 80 freezer. A minus 30 or minus 40 Celsius cryostat should work the same. Your goal here is to freeze the OCT solid. I prefer to remove the plastic straw before processing. I will show two methods for sectioning the stent. The first method is with this small drill press vise. I like using the vise for several reasons. First, you can freeze the vise beforehand. The cold helps minimize melting of the OCT. And second, I can use both hands to control the Dremel. I am sectioning the stent at approximately 1 to 2 millimeters thick. The goal here is to cut the artery sections as thin as possible to make it easier to move the stent wire from the artery sections. The stent wires are very difficult to remove, so the thinner your sections, the easier it will be to pull the stent wires out. The pliers method was the first technique I used for processing stents. If you choose this method, remember to chill the tips of the pliers with the free spray or the OCT will start to melt as you section. I like to use two forceps for stent removal. One's forcep to hold the arteries down while the other pulls the stent out of the tissues. This isn't a perfect system, of course. Because the stents are so intertwined in the arteries, you can easily pull the inner material away. My advice is to take your time, be gentle and patient, and hopefully you'll get a couple good samples out of this process. Remember to look at both sides of the artery for stent fragments. Stent wire pieces will be everywhere. Leaving a small metal fragment can create horrible knife marks on your sections during macronomy. If you have questions, please comment below and I will try to answer them. Thanks for watching.